So I guess while we're here with these two, I'll do my little spiel on spastical geese. So this is Screamer Agander. The female's name is Nut. Nut is a smooth chested female and Screamer is a full curly. So he's got the curly feathers here. Whereas Nut has smooth, smooth feathers on her front. <laughs> Both, both varieties, smooth chested or full curly, should have blue eyes and the orange, pinkish orange bills. They should also have pinkish orange feet. Hey you, can I see your feet? There's his feet. Um, as you can tell, they're a very friendly breed. They're not, they're not known for aggression. They're very friendly, docile. Like all geese, they're great grazers, obviously. Um, they would much rather eat the grass than eat the feed. Uh, they're very curious. Very curious, calm birds. They, they're mainly kept as ornamental birds because of how they've been bred to have those long curly feathers. Um, they're very poor layers, so they only lay about 25 to 35 eggs a year. Uh, they are known for big fertility issues, which makes them hard to, to breed, and that's one of the reasons why they're in a threatened status. Um, they are quiet, pleasant. They do need slightly more winter protection in our cold climate. Not so much from the cold, but from the wind. Because most breeds, their feathers would zip and lock, which helps protect from getting the wind getting in and ruffling their feathers. So all birds trap air pockets in between their feathers. And then the off-heating from their bodies warms up that air and that's how they keep themselves help keep themselves warm in the winter with these guys they can't trap the air as effectively so if the wind comes through and blows up their feathers they're going to lose all of those warm air pockets that they've created they do really well in the cold if they're blocked from the wind um they're not usually kept for me but they do make a nice, leaner table bird, if that's what you're looking for. They do need a little extra care when it comes to bathing. You need to find the right amount. They can't have full access to water because then they can get feather rot easy because they, again, their feathers don't zip and lock like most birds do. So the, the water actually gets into um, they're down and then they can get feather rot from it uh, But they do need extra Cleaning compared to other geese so they do need a little more access to water um, So that they can keep their feathers in ideal condition um, I guess I should say they mature to 12 to 14 pounds which does put them in the medium weight category of geese um, yeah, I don't know. We enjoy them. We enjoy how they look. And they are quite a nice breed. They will still alert to predators, but they don't actually go after humans or the dogs or anything like that. Um, so they are a nice breed to have around to alert, but also not attack things. So we can have them out with the dogs and the kids and even other people who come over to visit here, we can have them out and not worry about them actually attacking anybody. Um, we mainly have them for the conservation efforts, so we're breeding to try to help increase the numbers so that they don't get into a critical status. As I said, they're in a threatened. So if their numbers continue to drop, they will be listed as critical for being endangered. Um, while they're not the best egg layers or the best for meat, they are nice to have around and they are very pretty birds. Hey, don't eat my hair. So, 
Yes, there's our some of the Sebastopol geese. We have a bunch of groups, but these guys are young yet, so her feathers, the one in the back there, her feathers will eventually drape right down to the ground. <laughs> His, the full curly, won't be quite as as long, but as you can tell, they get crazy looking feathers all over the place. But yeah, so as you can see, friendly, friendly when hand raised. Great breed to consider if you're looking to get into geese, but you're a little worried about them being aggressive or mean.